kids! Welcome back for yet in another amazing Sunday. My name is Miss Sarah, and I am here with the one and only Miss Cat. Right. And are we excited to get into this week's lesson? Yes, I cannot wait. We're in week two, Miss Sarah, two. All right. of our lessons, and in Heroes, Heroes, what are we learning about all month long? Do you know? We're learning that heroes follow Jesus. That's right. And then in our legends, we're learning that Jesus is alive. I'm so excited to jump right into our lessons, but we have a lot to do. We do. Even before we get there, right? I mean, we have worship time together. We're gonna learn a memory verse together, but yep. before any of that, I don't know, Miss Sarah. I think I see some sleepy legends. They look like, a little tired to me. I yeah, yeah, maybe a little stiff too, I right? Think I, I think we need to loosen up. Definitely. Let's, Let's loosen up. Loosen up. All of my Boo kids, I need you on your feet. Up, up, Right up. now, wherever you are, jump up on your feet. Come on, give a couple jumps. There we go. All right. We're ready. I think we should start. Maybe let's touch our toes. I think so. Okay, let's do it. Ready? Let's touch our toes. Can you do it, legends and oh, heroes, man. without bending your knees? That's the key. See? Don't bend your knees. A little harder now. Okay, that feels good. That feels ah. good. How about to the side? Let's go to the side. Ugh. To the right. Great. Other side. Awesome. What else, Miss Sarah? What's your favorite stretch? You know what? I like a little bit of a twisting action. I think we need Ooh, a twist. Ooh, okay. Twist, Get twist, twist. Out of us. This is stretching your back, boo kids. That's Look right. at that. You guys are ready. I know some of my boo kids out there. They can do cartwheels. Cartwheels? Yeah, they can do splits. I saw a legend the other day do a split in our legends room. The legends are talented. Super talented. Whatever you guys do to stretch out, stretch out because we have a lot happening today and we want to be ready. But Miss Sarah, there's something else we always do to get ready for Voo Kids. I think we need to go over our Voo Kids values. Our Voo Kids values. Our Voo Kids know them, right? Oh, they do. Wait, oh, wait, I hear something. Do you hear that? I think I hear some flapping. I hear wings. Oh, it's Pepe! It's Pepe! Pepe! Pepe. Pepe. Welcome! Just in time to do our Boo hey, Kids values with us, Pepe. You gonna help us out with this one? Oh my goodness. Pepe's ready. Wow, were, were you like flying over the ocean? I could see that. We heard you coming. That's awesome. Thanks for visiting us today. So happy. Well, we're gonna let Pepe help lead us then because Pepe loves our Boo Kids values. Oh my goodness. Okay, Pepe, do you remember what's our first Boo Kids value? That's right. Oh, yes. Listening ears, right, Miss Sarah? That's right. I will listen twice as much as I speak. So, so good. All right, what's the next one? Well, number two, what do you think, Pepe? Oh, he's got it going on. That's right, kind mouth. Kind mouth. I will use kind words to honor others and speak life. I think Pepe knows the next one, even though it's a little different for him. That's right, helping hands. Helping hands. I will use my hands for helping and sharing. We're gonna share today Absolutely. in Boo Kids, right? Always. Yeah, for That sure. sounds great. And number four, Pepe, what do you, that's right, humble hearts. Humble heart. I will think of others before myself. And our very last one is my favorite because we always give ourselves dimples here in Boo Kids, right? That's it right, is Pepe. positive attitude. Positive what do we say, attitude. Boo Kids? I will always, always choose joy. joy. That's right. Thank Amazing. you, Pepe. Thanks High so five. Much, Pepe. Right here. Awesome. We are always going to choose joy today in Boo Kids. We love you, Pepe. Bye, Pepe. Oh, my goodness. We love Pepe so, so much. He's the best. He really is the best. But, Boo Kids, it's time for us to get ready to worship now. So, we're warmed up. We went over our Boo Kids values. Let's keep using our values every single part of our Boo Kids lesson today. That's right. But right now, stand on your feet because we're about to worship together. We'll see you soon. Your love was never far You made a way to get to me You were the whisper Leading me to your heart Forever I belong to you Now I can see clearly My God, you for me You won't let go Your love won't let me down And I know it's true Yeah, I know that you're
when I need you, you listen as I pray. You leave the 99 for me, you paint the sky with promises of your grace. So I will find my way to you.
friends, what's going on? It's been an amazing Sunday so far. My name is Miss Sarah, and I can't wait to get into the memory verse with you right now. This month, we're going over 1 John chapter 5, verse 11 to 12. And it says, And this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life, and this is in His Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. Now let's break that down really quick so we know we're getting all of the motions. So, and this, we're gonna point down when we say this, this is the testimony. You're probably wondering, why are we doing this? Because a testimony is something we tell people. So we want everybody to know this. So this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life. It doesn't end, it just keeps on going. So God has given us eternal life and this is in his son. Whoever has the son, has life. And whoever does not have the Son does not have life. You guys think you got it? Alrighty, so we're gonna do this all together one more time. Here we go. First John chapter 5, verse 11 and 12. And this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life, and this is in His Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. Awesome job, legends. Let's get ready for the lesson today. What's up, Voo Kids, legends? How are you doing out there? Come on, make some noise wherever Ooh. you are. Are you excited? to be in Legends today, I think it's the best. Like there's heroes, there's dreamers, but Legends. Legends are pretty cool, Mr. Legends Justin. is where it's at. My name is Justin, I'm here with Miss Blair. Miss Blair, how was your Sunday going? It was, it's been so good, Mr. Justin. Yeah. Last week was pretty cool. It was like epic. It was Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday. The bunny was here. We had a bunny out here. We talked about all kinds of we things. We were hopping around. We were hopping around. Hip yep. hop. I'll, I'll keep hop. hopping though. You were in a catch up I Costume. was wearing a ketchup. How did I, how did that happen? I don't know. Things I do for you legends. It's, it's, it's crazy, insane. but now you're in normal clothes. Now we're back in our kids clothes. We got, don't worry, we got this. because We're gonna crush today's lesson, Voo Kids. I'm really excited. We have an amazing theme. We're gonna go over amazing story. Yes. Before we go any farther, we always like to pray, right? We like to pray, That's right. get our That's hearts right. ready. So Ms. Blair's gonna pray for us. Yes. Come on, legends, let's bow our heads. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you that we get to come together as legends and open up your word and learn more about you so that we can become more like you. We love you and all the legends said, Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. Okay, Mr. Justin. So yeah. we've been talking about this month that we've kind of taken a break from our Fruits of the Spirit right. collections. And we've been talking about how Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Because it was Easter yeah. and pretty cool. We talked through Good Friday. Yep. We talked about how Jesus, he literally walked out of a tomb. Yeah. He died on a cross. He walked out of the tomb and about conquered a lot of stuff. death. A lot of stuff. Pretty cool, Mr. Dustin. Yeah. So we're talking about how Jesus is alive. And so today we're gonna continue talking about Jesus and talking through the New Testament together. Come on. I'm excited, Mr. I love Justin. It. Are you excited? I'm super excited. I don't know. I, I don't really hear the legends uh, out they there. They don't seem, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, know, they don't I'm like, seem excited. Do we need to do something to get them pumped like, Jesus up? Like, is alive and they're not yeah, really yeah, feeling yeah. it, you know? I think, I think we need to get them like, maybe really quick, just get up on your feet really Come quick, on. legends. Go, get up on your feet. Get up on. on your feet. Come on, get we up. We got to celebrate. Get Jesus on. is get alive. On. Okay, Mr. Justin, can you take us through a dance? Oh my God. I, I would love to. They call me, I'm actually a professional dancer. Oh, really? didn't know. Yeah. So I do wow. kids' lessons, and then I do professional dancing. <laughs> wow, Mr. I do. Justin. Okay. Are you guys ready? Show we're us gonna a dance. Start feet planted, arms out. We're just gonna go around. There we go, everyone. Stretch out those arms. Oh, really get the back muscles going. <laughs> oh, this is a really good stretch for me, my professional dancing. Oh, and there we go. Come on, legends. Great legend. job, legends. They're good. That was an interesting dance, that, Mr. Justin. It's it's new. <laughs> it's new. Okay, okay. Yeah. We can make it into like a cool dance Boom. we do in legends. Boom. All right. Yeah, yeah. That's great, Mr. Justin. Great job, legends. Okay, so now we're gonna dive into God's word so we can take a seat, yes. turn on our listening ears out there, legends, and we're gonna dive into what chapter of um, Mark? Chapter one. 
chapter one. So That's everyone's right. got their Bibles out. Everyone's got their Bible. Come on. You guys have a Bible, guys, right? Yep. Everyone's got their Bible. Put, put your Bibles up. Put your Bibles up. All right, perfect. We're now, Ms. Blair Mark. is going to teach us how to get to okay. the book of Mark. So you guys know that there's the Old Testament and the New Testament. Right, right. Mark is at the beginning, pretty much the beginning of the New Testament. Great. So it goes Matthew, then Mark. Right, okay, perfect. So they can go to the table of contents yeah. right here. I see it. On one of the first pages in their Bible. Great. And find the New Testament and find Mark. And find exactly what page it's on in their Bible. All right, in great. our Bible, what page is it on, Mr. It's Justin? on page 1093 in the Adventure Bible, which you can get at Voo Kids. At Voo Kids, that's right, Mr. Justin. Okay, so take us through. Let's read a little bit about Mark 1. Perfect. So we're on Mark chapter 1, verse 1, all right? Everyone put ones up. In the beginning of the good news about Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God, as it is written in the Isaiah the prophet. You guys ready? I will send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way, a voice of one calling in the wilderness. Prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. So what's, what's happening here, Ms. What? Blair? Someone's preparing the way for Jesus? Like something's happening. So wow, like getting stuff amazing. ready, right? Wow. Like preparing the table. Have you ever prepared the table for oh, your parents? Oh, I love preparing the table. You put the plate the down, plates the fork, out, the napkin, the, 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 the knife, the cups. the cups. I love doing it. Yeah. I really love helping their parents out, right? Mm -hmm. Setting the table, getting ready. Someone's preparing the way for Jesus. We just don't know wow. who it is yet. Wow. That's pretty cool. So we're, we're about to figure okay. it out. Okay. You guys ready? Going. And so John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness. What? Imagine that. He just came out of nowhere. Wow. I love this. Preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem went to him, confessing their sins, and they were baptized by him in the Jordan River. Wow, Mr. Justin. That's kind of cool. This is cool. Are you talking about like baptisms that we do at Vu Church? Yeah, like like actual baptisms where you submerge yourselves into water. Wow. So you're saying John the Baptist, he came. Before Jesus. Bef and he prepared the way for what Jesus was going to do? Yeah, so a lot of the stuff that you see that John the Baptist is doing here, Jesus will be doing, right? So it's really preparing the way for him. So we're going to continue reading. Okay, we're on verse 6. John wore clothing made out of camel's hair. Hello. Itchy. Wow. Am I right? My goodness. Oh, that would be so itchy, Mr. <laughs> oh, Justin. Oh, man. That's like wearing a sad cloth. You don't, you don't want that in your life. My God. With a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locust and wild honey. Wow. That, that sounds is, interesting. Mr. Justin. Talk about a fast. You're a little far. Come on. Talk about a fast. Okay. So, you're telling me he wore camel's hair and ate bugs? Bugs. Like, not even. They're big bugs. What? He put some honey on it. So, I mean. My goodness. Get some sweet in Legends, there. can you imagine? Do you eat bugs? Does anybody eat bugs out there? I don't think so. Only on weekends. Only on weekends. I think a lot of people <laughs> like bugs, but I don't know if they would eat bugs, Mr. Justin. And I definitely don't think anybody's wearing camel hair. Oh, definitely. I mean, fashion choice. So this is it. an interesting guy, John the Baptist. Yeah, he's huh? not your normal guy, like, in the city, you know, <laughs> hanging out, wearing wearing the coolest sneakers. Okay. He's out in the wilderness. He's baptizing people. He's wow. itchy in his clothes. Wow, okay. He's eating bugs and honey. We're going to continue reading about this guy. You guys ready? We're in verse 7. And this was his message. After me comes the one more powerful than I. So wow. he's talking about Jesus here. The straps of whose sandals I'm not worthy to stoop down and untie. I will baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. All right, Miss. that's a big statement there, Miss Blair. Wow. What is John saying? That's so cool. So he's saying that he is able to baptize them in water. Right. So can we, Mr. Justin, can you tell us what baptism really is all about? I love this. So we do this at our church. We do this when I was baptized. And this Blair, you've been baptized. Yes. We can always remember the moment we've been baptized. And it's a really special moment where, you know, we accept Jesus into our heart, right? We make that inward decision. And really what baptism is, baptism is an opportunity for people to see us make this outward declaration, right? This public statement of our faith. And what's really That's cool so is that cool. Vu Church, it's a party, right? It's people a party. People are celebrating you. Yes. So I'm just picturing right now, like in the Jordan, people are getting baptized. They come out, people are celebrating them. They're like, yes, let's go. This is the best day ever. That's awesome, Mr. Justin. So they're basically saying, okay, I made the decision to follow Jesus. So in my heart, I know that I'm turning away from the old ways and I'm turning towards Jesus. 
But what baptism is, is actually making a public declaration right. of that. Like saying, okay, I know I've made that decision in my heart, but right. I want everybody I want to, to know. know. And I want everybody to know so they can make sure that they, they keep me accountable. Right. It's this big word, accountable. But it basically means that Mr. Justin made that decision. He didn't tell anybody. How would he have friends that could keep him on track and make so sure good. that he keeps making right. the right decisions? So he said, does, Justin decided one day, okay, I want to get baptized because I want to make a public Great, declaration Clark. of my faith. So basically baptism, you're saying, is you go under the water right. and then you, all your, you're saying all the old stuff, you're giving it to Jesus, That's right. going away. That's right. And then you're coming up brand new. That's right. That's exactly wow. what we're seeing here in the Bible. That's crazy. So they're doing that right yep. here. John the Baptist John, is doing that. Exactly. He's he, talking about Jesus already. Yeah. Preparing the way for him. It's already mentioning Jesus. And he's saying That's that someone, so cool. Jesus is coming after him, who's so worthy that, that he's so above John the Baptist that he's not even worthy to strap his sandals. He's just wow. giving Jesus all this amazing glory and praise and honor already. So we're going to continue cool. reading right now. Are you guys ready? Awesome. We're on verse number nine. At that time, Jesus from Nazareth, so Jesus is on the scene, right? He's in Galilee, and he was baptized by John in the Jordan. Just as Jesus was coming out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. What a scene. Wow. And a voice came from heaven, you are my son, whom I love with you, and I am well pleased. Talk about a baptism. Wow. Okay, like, so John the Baptist just said in the last few right. verses that I can baptize you in water, but only Jesus will be able to baptize you with the Holy That's Spirit. Right. And so we're seeing right here in the Bible that Jesus comes. I think Jesus has a humble heart, legends. Yeah. Do you think he has a humble oh my heart? Goodness. Because Are you kidding me? He is the Messiah, Mr. Justin. Yeah. And he's saying, okay, I'm gonna have John the Baptist baptize me. It's incredible. Like, I think I think it's the best part of it that like Jesus tells us to get baptized. Jesus yes. tells us to get baptized because he got baptized first. That's so cool, Mr. Justin. So he's Jesus. He didn't necessarily have to get baptized. Right. He, we're saying he the Bible tells us he is the Messiah, but he says, okay, it's so important to make a public declaration That's of right. your faith. Once you've decided in your heart and you really believe and you follow Jesus, you can make a public declaration. So he's saying that right here, that he's gonna have John the Baptist baptize him. But then when he comes up, the Holy Spirit, what John the Baptist was saying, exactly. comes down and fills the place where they're baptized. Fills the place and comes down wow. like a dove. Imagine a beautiful why that would be hear a these, scene, Mr. That would be a, are you kidding me? And then the words, right? This, the voice came from heaven. I'm going to say that again. A voice came from heaven. It wasn't wow. like Can you something from the sides. Like from, from heaven. Wow. And it said, you are my son whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. Wow. That's, that's insane. That's, that's pretty amazing. cool, Mr. Justin. Okay, so I love this. We're talking about that... John the Baptist prepares right. the way. And this whole month, we're talking about that Jesus is alive. But really right here, it's, it's showing us in Mark chapter one that Jesus, he is the Messiah. That's right. Before we even see Jesus dying on the cross. Or a we, miracle happen. Yeah, we're getting a glimpse of, of how Jesus, he brings the Holy yeah. Spirit into our lives and how Jesus, he teaches us how we are to live this life, how we are to follow him. Yeah. But he also shows us that it's pretty cool that we can make a public declaration of our faith. When right. it comes time for us legends to make that decision, we can go public with our faith. And so today, I think we should just shout it out that Jesus Ooh, is the Messiah. Mr. Justin, it. can you get the legends excited? All right, guys, we're going to start getting revved up. So feet planted, start, start getting a little, oh, wow. getting a little excited. You're starting right. Come up on their start feet, right. And then on the count of three, we're going to yell, Jesus is the Messiah. You guys ready? One, two, three. Jesus, Jesus is, is the, the Messiah. Messiah. There you guys go. That wow. was awesome. That was awesome, Mr. Justin. Great job, legends. Woo. That's such a special chapter. That was in Mark chapter what, Legends, do you remember? Uh, chapter one. one. That's go. right. We learn about how John the Baptist, he prepared the way for Jesus. He was preparing the way for what Jesus was going to do in other people's lives. And you know what, Mr. Justin? I think it's pretty special that we actually get to do that as Legends. Right. We can prepare the way for other people. We can love other people. We've been talking. Love that. We're talking all year long about the fruits of the Spirit. This month, we're taking a little break, like we said earlier, but we can live out the fruits of the Spirit and prepare the way for other people to meet Jesus. Like even in Legends, when we, do our, when we use our Voo Kids values, our listening ears, our kind mouths, our helping hands, our humble hearts, our positive attitudes, 
Do you know that that makes a way for people, for our friends, our legends to experience Jesus right in the oh, legends room because we have that. our listening ears and our kind mouths? You know that, Mr. Justin? That's amazing. I love that. All legends, we all can play a part yep. and really molding and bringing the way for other people to join us. You can be inviting uh, your friends to watch these Legends videos. You can that's be inviting right. your cousins and your friends to Vu Church, to Vu Kids. And that's really the way that we get to play a part in really making sure that the Spirit of Jesus can really be inside everybody because the love that we felt could be felt all around. Right, Miss Blair? That's right, Mr. Justin. And we know we talked a lot about last week about right here on this stage. Yeah. We talked about Jesus dying for our sins. That's right. And Jesus Coming, we, we celebrated earlier. He literally walked out of the tomb. That's he right. conquered death. He died and rose from the dead. Amen. That is pretty cool. And I think that should show you legends that Jesus is the Messiah, that he is our savior. We talked so much about that last week. And in every week, we want to give you legends an opportunity to give your lives to Jesus. Maybe today you're saying, man, I want to follow Jesus. I hear Miss. Dr. Justin and Miss Blair talking a lot about how incredible Jesus is, how he can fill our lives with the Holy Spirit, how he can make our lives so much better just by following him, how following him, we can live out our VU Kids values even better than we ever have before. And so today we wanna give you legends an opportunity to follow Jesus. Great. I promise you it's the best decision of your life. So on the count of three, if it's you out there, legend, that if you wanna give your life to Jesus, why don't you raise your hand and Mr. Justin's gonna pray for us. Ready, one, two, three. Come on, if that's you, legend, raise your hand. If you wanna give your life to Jesus today, we see those hands that's out right. there. Come on, Mr. Justin, why don't you pray for us today? Oh, we're gonna pray together. You can repeat after me, dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. You are the Lord of my life. You are the Lord of my life. I believe that. I believe that. You went on a cross. That you went on a cross. And died for my sin. Died for my sin. And rose again. And rose again. Three days later. Three days later. I give you my past. I give you my past. I give you my present. I give you my present. I even place my future in your hand. I even place my future in your hand. I'm all yours, Jesus. I'm all yours, Jesus. And all the legends said. Amen. 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 Come That's on. That's awesome, Mr. Justin. People are celebrating That's right now. That's right. And it's what's a party. Super special is. Man, that decision is so cool because as we make that decision, Jesus wipes away what Mr. Justin said, our past, our present, and even our future Even the sin. future stuff. That's pretty crazy. And that means something really cool, Mr. Justin. What does that mean? That we get to live in eternity oh, with Jesus. Oh, come on. So not just the Legends team right now, celebrating, yeah. the Boo Kids team, we're not just celebrating today, but heaven, heaven is celebrating. There's a party in heaven they're because of They're dancing, you. they're, they're singing. They're having a party. And they're so excited that you made that decision to follow Jesus. We're celebrating up here. Oh, yeah, um, Justin took us through this dance I just earlier. Dance. But dance. Yeah, yeah. Do, do, I don't know what way. that is. Ready? Whoa. Oh. Wow. It's better in heaven. But Beautiful. Just imagine. What yes. It be like. yeah. I love that. All right, we're celebrating you today, legends. We're so happy you made that decision. And we're going to continue talking about how Jesus is alive That's right. all month long. We'll see you next week. Kids Cruise. We'll see you actually in Kids Cruise. Great job. We'll see you at Kids Cruise today. Kids Cruise. And we'll then be there. See you next week. We love you, legends.